Hi, Seymour Duncan here. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be answering a bunch of questions from some of you guests out there who watch the show, and I really appreciate it. It's really kind of cool, you know. You guys are trying to keep me on my toes here, which I appreciate, And uh, but we're, we're going to have fun. And today, I think one of the first ones we're going to talk about, the different parts of a pickup. You know, as you know, there's, there's humbucking pickups, there's single coil pickups, all different types of different shapes of pickups. And some of the earlier pickups from way back in the 50s and 40s and everything, they were uh, basically uh, single coil pickups. It started with a guy named Doc Kaufman who worked with Leo Fender, and they were both experimenting and uh, winding. One of the earlier pickups, like an old strap pickup, uh, that was developed late 53s and was started on their 1954 model. Basically, you have your flat work, which is your top and bottom piece, top piece holds the rod pole pieces, which are Alnico magnets in this case. And then there's a coil of magnet wire and a number of turns, which is used for uh, frequency and output and the tone of a pickup. Later, you know, they were doing just metallic studs and they put a magnet underneath of it and the magnet underneath would magnetize the magnets on top. And the main reason why there are magnets inside uh, an electric guitar is because the magnets would magnetize the string. And so when the string would vibrate, the string would move back and forth, and the magnetic field that's moving from the string will move it through the magnet and through the coil, and then from the coil it will go out to your amplifier, and that's, that's what you hear. And by using different types of magnet, uh, Alnico 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s, I mean, there's all kinds of them, and they all have different amounts of cobalt and different combinations of uh, material in it to make a, you know, a certain grade. They're pretty much, you know, magnetized in the unit. So the magnets would be put in and then they would magnetize it. Otherwise, if you try to have a magnetized pole piece and put it in, they'd be jumping all over the place. Now what I'm going to go to is your humbucker bobbin. The bobbins are normally uh, most likely injection molded, means there's a, a form that's cut out to a shape of a bobbin. You can see here with this uh, lighter colored one. But you have your injection molded bobbin and with a humbucker, you would use two of them. Uh, one side would be the stud side or you have your little uh, steel pole piece that would go in here. And then the other bobbin would have an adjustable screw that normally on the old Gibsons, it's a 540 filister head. They're used to adjust up and down and they would penetrate through the cover. The cover would be punched out. And uh, I don't have a cover here except over here, too. I made this uh, display oh, many years ago. I got each component and each process of a humbucking pickup being made, which I thought was, you know, kind of a fun thing to do. If you look up here, you can see the first part of a humbucking bottom plate where it's blanked out. So it's flat on all four sides. Okay, no holes punched in it. The next one that we go to is where they punch out the pole piece holes and the mounting holes, there's four mounting holes where the bobbins will be mounted to it and the six pole piece holes for the adjustable uh, 540 pole piece screws. And then over here, you can see the sides are bent up to encase the bobbins. And inside here, you'll have uh, the wood shim. A bar magnet will be in the middle here. The wire, the cable, will go through this hole over here, and that's where it'll exit. And then down here, tips are bent for the height adjustment. They're actually bent under. They're bent back here. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can you can see them. And then uh, down here, you know, you got your pole pieces. You got your your different hookup wire. You got the solder. And down here, you have your 42 plain enamel, which they would use. You know, these are the sc different screws that are used for the mounting ring. And then these are the uh, the brass screws that are used to mount the bobbins onto the pickup. So if you look over here, your pickup can be made four different ways. It can be made double black, your double cream. Here you have a zebra, and then you have reverse zebra. All these are all wound the same way on the same machine, same wire, same number of turns. But for some reason, people think the double cream sound better than the double black. Don't ask me why, but it's just how it happens. Down here, you can see where the um, pole pieces are actually <clears throat> mounted to the one adjustable bobbin, and the studs are mounted on the stud side. 
And here's a bottom view where you can see the adjustable pole pieces and you can see the bar magnet. It's in between the, the metal spacer, which holds the, uh, the magnet in place and pretty much in connection with the magnetic field uh, for the pole pieces. And then on this side, the magnet is just rubbing against the stud side of the pole pieces. Okay, here you can see uh, the bobbins with gold pole pieces. And over here, you can just see the studs by himself and more studs. And here's a bar magnet, the old sand cast uh, Alnico's. Here's it with a cover, or antiquity cover. And then here's with a gold cover, gold screws. Gibson went through different phases of different uh, pole pieces. But again, here's like off of 340, 355 gold plated. The gold screws, double cream bobbins with the cover removed. And uh, to me, it's kind of neat. And over here on the right, you got your, your raw cover, then you got a uh, gold-plated cover, and then nickel-plated cover, and then a chrome. So here is like when they first stamp it out, it's pretty much raw. For me, you know, looking at this, it's uh, a lot of history, and uh, we'll get some close-ups of what all the history and little things are here, these notes that I've put up here, and then, uh, uh, Chris can he'll insert them in the video and then you'll be able to see what what little remarks about these pickups are and the patent dates and everything. For me I like doing things like this, like a science project, you know, which is very cool. But thanks for checking it out and uh, we'll be back pretty soon. Yeah.